around in your car. So whenever you make a report, whenever you make a report on CBP form 7501, you need to declare a value, right? You need to report six thousand dollars sixty-five cents or so many units. And how you report those, uh, the, the, there are rules provided. When you declare, for example, your taxes, you, your IRS tells you, you can round up or round down. If you choose not to round up, but put exact amount, you're free to do so. Customs, on the other hand, they require you to either round up or round down, depending on the situation. So you have a snippet of the form, and the customs broker needs to declare the shower curtains for the amount of 49, uh, 4,999.55. How do they report it? Well, as one can see, they do not report this amount. Rather, they round it up. And the duty is assessed based on the $5,000 amount. Everyone see that? Here is a problem, though. Does it, uh, everyone knows that you can declare multiple line items. And sometimes you can manipulate it to your advantage where you can run down, run down, run down. And when you have, let's say, 300 line items, you round down, you keep on rounding down, you can round down to a whole lot. So it, uh, the point is, is this rounding down, rounding up rule can be misused if not, if additional constraints are not put down right so customs came up with the additional rule which says look you can round down you can round up under the general rules but this is more difficult uh, question here and the reason is difficult because you have to engage in conversion so customs examiners give you uh, ask you for the reporting quantity of the fabrics Notice here the fabric itself comes in rows. So you have 430 rows times. Notice all you don't need to look it up in the HTS. You don't need to open up your HTS book because customs tells you the reporting quantity is square meters. So the question is not on the, qu on the reporting quantity, the question is on the degree. Square meters, we know, is width, high, width times height, right? This is how we determine the square. So what's the width? Well, width is 52 inches. What's the height? 60 yards. What's the problem? square meters right so you need to bring it all to the same uh, to the same measuring point to have the square meterage so what do you do well alas we have an appendix cut air remember we talked about cut air already we talked about cut air appendix e when we talked about entry numbers well now we come across another appendix which is appendix d